just gone nap time when the legs walked into my office. They were attached to a sparkling dress and the kind of body that made jelly and ice cream look sour. The dame wasted no time in getting to the point. Some sleazebag had bagged her biscuits and she wanted yours truly on the case. I tried to say, listen sweetheart, I don't do cookie kidnap cases no more. But I guess I'm just a sucker for a sucker. My first stop was Domino's Drinking Hall. It was the kind of place where even the rats had tabs. But what Domino lacked in hygiene, he made up for in generosity with a shot. Domino knew not to serve me the tourist stuff. This was his finest, and it had drilled the fillings in your teeth before it had even reached your throat. As we sat there, shooting the sugar, Domino told me the word on the grapevine was that the cookies were being held in a no-good area downtown called Hell's Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen. And something rotten was cooking. How did a glassy broth like that get mixed up in a melting pot like this dump? Well, there was only one way to go. And that was up. I was gonna have to be real careful or I was gonna end up as flat as that and a whole lot messier. <sighs> I was getting too old for this. It looked like someone was having quite a party. And that was an awful lot of coke for just one girl. Something didn't sit right here. I was gonna go back to the office and work this out. It was all over. The girl had played me for the dumb sap I am. There was no use fighting. I'd been wrapped around her finger from day one. And besides, she was pointing that gun at me the way a cat points a gun at a mouse. Even now I felt that she was a good kid. But I guess a girl will do anything for enough dough. As she walked out of my life, I couldn't help wonder if it was forever. Maybe when a jar ran empty she'd be back, but I doubted it. In the meantime, this sucker was left all of his life between the two constants of this ruined world. The lure of sweetness and the treachery of women.